Command, this is Bravo 3. We have a perimeter breach in Sector A. Sensors have picked up a perimeter breach in Sector 8. Orders? Yes, sir. Deploying security. Why? How? What are you doing here? Saving the world. What do you mean? Open the box. You'll see. That has the power to change everything. The power to set everyone free. I know you're a good person deep down. At least do this one good thing in your life. Sir, great job catching this scum. We'll take it from here. Wait, let him go. Sir, are you disobeying orders? I said let him go. I can't let you do that. Save the world. I've got everything handled here. My name is Logan Walter and I'm the director of Noshere. Um, Noshere in Latin means to find out. So the basis of the film Noshere is it's an action movie at its heart, but it's a, it's a film about redemption of the soldier as he talks to the resistance fighter and realizes there are bigger things than just following orders. Um, in pre-production, I originally came up with the, the story idea and through process of group revision and brainstorming, we edited and changed it around. So we finally arrived at um, a script and storyboard. And those on their own went through an editing process, so we finally could finish with the story that we wanted. Uh, when we went out to shoot, I would say the main issue was um, lighting, because we were shooting the whole film at night. And what that meant is we had to light everything with our lights because there would be no sunlight. So we also had to simulate moonlight. And the way we did this is we set up a light really high up in the tree so that it would be casting blue light down on everything and giving us the moonlight. And then we also had backlights that were set up uh, behind actors so that it would give them an outline and set them apart from the background. Uh, another issue when we were shooting was um, time. We were in a time constraint because we started shooting after school one of the day, and um, that meant that uh, actors had homework, so we couldn't go out and shoot for as long as we should have or could have been able to do. So we did have to cut out some parts that we could have included. In post-production, I would say I've probably been editing for around 18 hours now, um, and the main issue I've come into is um, we didn't record uh, good sound when we were shooting in person the first time. And this was because our boom mic uh, didn't reach as far and we didn't put it as close as we should have. Um, so I've had to go in and we've had to re-record all of the actors' dialogue and all of their lines and then edit them in. And I would say that's also kind of a blessing because we got to go through and change the way the voice or the actors said what they were saying and, you know, make them angry or sad and add a little bit more personality to the lines. 
overall, I would say um, this was a fun film to make, especially as a group. We all got to learn a lot of different things, um, make a lot of mistakes, but they were good mistakes because we could come out of them better knowing now how not to do them again.